All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Marcus Hain, the course is Poker Strategy, how I make $5,000 plus per month playing cash games. So this is section one, lesson five. Uh, this section is all about the introduction, and uh, this lesson is all about the basic rules of Texas Hold'em Poker. So just as a quick uh, reminder for you guys, uh, before you guys come in taking this course, I really want you guys to... Uh, know the basic rules of Texas Hold'em Poker, how the game works, and be familiar with it to a level where you've at least played uh, more than a handful uh, times because this isn't a beginner's course. A lot of the strategies in this course are a little bit upper level and it's all about helping you become profitable, not about teaching you how to play the game. So I'm going to really breeze by this section and these are going to be very, very basic rules of Texas Hold'em Poker. So uh, I really hope you guys have the strong foundation before taking this course and if you guys don't, I highly recommend spending some time doing that before you take this course because a lot of this material in this course is going to be heavy and tough if you aren't ready for it. Uh, so to start by giving you guys a quick glossary. So uh, blinds. So the force blinds. Of, okay, sorry. Uh, blinds are known as the force blind bets that you must make before the cards are dealt. So you have a small blind and you have a big blind. Uh, the small blind is usually the rate taken by the casino or the poker site, whatever the case is. And then the big blind is usually what uh, is the minimum amount that the other players have to call in order to see the flop. But you're forced to put this money out before you get to see your hands. Uh, the next thing is known as the button. It's basically the nickname for the player who is currently acting as the dealer in the hand. Uh, the player with the dealer button has the best position uh, from the flop, turn, and river cards. Um, and we'll jump into a lot of this information later on. Uh, the word check refers to uh, similar to a call, but no money is put in additionally. So if you have the big blind and the action is on you and there's no raises around you, you can simply check to see the flop or community cards. Uh, a flop is known as the first three community cards that are dealt. Uh, quick glossary continued part two, so pre-flop. So any action that occurs before the flop or the community cards are dealt is known as the pre-flop. Uh, the turn is basically the fourth community card that's dealt, so you get three cards for the flop, and then the fourth card afterwards is known as the turn. The fifth and final card or community card that is dealt is known as the river. And lastly, showdown refers to when the players reveal their hands to discover the winner from the pot. And this is happening at, after the river card has been dealt, and that's known as the show, showdown. To give you guys a basic overview of what the game is about and how it works, so each player is dealt two cards that are hidden from the other players. Uh, this is a community card poker game that has a gameplay that's focused on betting as cards are being played. So like I said, as the flop turns and rivers come across and you have your two cards in the hole or that are hidden from your opponents, you make bets blindly based on that action. Uh, Texas Hold'em is played on a table between two to ten players at a time on one table. Uh, the goal of the game is to win as many chips as you possibly can and you win chips or pots by having the best hand or by getting the other player to fold before a showdown occurs. And lastly, these are the hand rankings. So these basically starting from the Royal Flush uh, to the Straight Flush to the Four of a Kind downwards. This is the order of the rankings of your hands. So obviously a Royal Flush beats a Straight Flush, a Full House beats a Flush. So this just shows you kind of like the order of what hands beat what. So you could take a look at this and you can even with a simple Google search, you're able to kind of find the hand rankings and stuff like that. But as I mentioned, I really hope that you guys have all these concepts and all these uh, basics down already and you know these things very, very well where you don't need to look at a hand ranking chart or anything like that. You can physically look at a hand and tell who the winner is going to be. Uh, this is going to be very crucial to the success of you in this course because if you don't know the basics, this course is going to be way over your head. So. That's it for the basic section. I know most of you probably have all this stuff down, so I don't want to take up too much time with it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.